Mentioned in the New Testament, they refer to the Battle of Armageddon as a place where the kings of the earth, under demonic leadership, will wage war on the force of God at the end of history. This chaotic scenario is likely in the mind of the people when thinking about the end of the world, aside from a disastrous natural calamity. Armageddon is mentioned in the Bible only once, in the Revelation to John, or the Apocalypse of St. John, 1616. Sandy Miller's Armageddon's only weapon is the Sword of Truth gave light to the claim about disciple John being the accepted author of the book of Revelation. He was the overseer of the seven Gentile churches mentioned in John's Revelation. He regularly made the circuit of all seven churches in Asia Minor. He was so enthusiastic about the news of Jesus' resurrection that Christian churches were thriving. Using terms such as Jesus is alive, Jesus is Lord, and Jesus is King, put John crosswise with the Roman Empire. Humanity has endured all the horrible disasters in his vision. And what has been accomplished? John is saying humanity expects God to allow men to trample universal laws of harmony without taking consequences. Instead, humanity is allowed to take consequences so he can learn from his mistakes. But the man in John's vision is not learning. Instead, he cursed the name of God, who had control over these plagues, but they refused to repent. John's revelation of Jesus Christ is an account of men who believe they can do a better job of running the world than the gods can. Ruins worldwide testify to the misuse of power by those empire builders. According to John, the disciple of Jesus, the real battle is taking place in the hearts and minds of man. That is what the Battle of Armageddon is all about. It is fought daily by Christ's army in the battle dress of spotless white linen. Christ is wearing a white robe stained with his own blood.